Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor and WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Elementor taxonomy filter for the WooCommerce products. This is a new feature added into the Elementor Pro plugin. Using the Elementor taxonomy filter, you can filter the products using their taxonomy, such as you can filter the products according to their categories, according to their tags or shipping classes. So it is not only for the categories, you can use different types of taxonomies of the products to filter the products. Now you can use the taxonomy filter for blog posts post also it is not only for the woocommerce products you can also filter the blog post according to their taxonomies let me show you an example of the taxonomy filter you will see the list of products here and at the top you will see the taxonomy filter so as of now i have set the category filtration for the woocommerce products so if i select casual it will show all the products from this particular category if i go to this category it will show the products from this particular category if I go back to all, it will show all the products. Now, this is the example of the category filtration. You can also use the type of product and instead of WooCommerce products, you can use the WordPress blog post also. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to use the free WooCommerce product filter plugin that can be used only for the filtration of the WooCommerce products according to their categories. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. And this is how the WooCommerce product filter plugin works. Here you will see the option for the product filtration. You can filter the products according to their categories and subcategories. It is completely different the Elementor taxonomy filter has many different features. So let's see how we can use the Elementor taxonomy filter for the WooCommerce products. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using WooCommerce on this website. This is a dummy website that I have created using the Elementor hosting services. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to use the Elementor hosting services and how you can create WooCommerce website using Elementor hosting services. And you will also get Elementor Pro plugin included in this Elementor hosting services. If you want to watch that video, I'll give you the link in the description box. Now we will see how to use the taxonomy filter in Elementor. This widget can be used to filter the blog post or the WooCommerce products using the taxonomies such as the category or the tags. So here I'm on one of the demo page and I can click on plus sign and search for taxonomy and you will see taxonomy filter option here. If you do not see taxonomy filter option, then you will need to go to Elementor settings and make sure that the taxonomy filter is enabled. So here you can go to Elementor and go to settings. Under settings, you can go to features. Under features, make sure that the grid container is active. The taxonomy filter is active and the loop is active. By default, if it is set to default, then just change it to active and click save changes. And after that, you will see taxonomy filter here. Now, in order to use the taxonomy filter, you need to create loop grid. So it is going to work with loop grid. So first we are going to create a loop grid for the WooCommerce product. So click on the plus sign here and search for loop. You will see loop grid, click on it, drag it and drop it. Now, in this case, we are going to create a loop grid for the WooCommerce product. You can use the blog post also so from here i'm going to select products and if you already have a loop template created you can use that template otherwise you can create a new template so i'm going to click on create a template click save now first we will add product title here so we are creating a template for the loop grid first i want to show the product title so i'm going to and drag and drop the product title here and just make it smaller center align and after that i want to show image of the product just center align it below that i want to show product price 
again center align it it will show the price and after that i want to show add to cart all right so this is a simple template that i have created let me change the name of the template go to he go to the settings and change the name product demo template and i'm going to update it click save and back so we have created the template now you will see all the products in the same template we have got six products here so let's click on it click on the loop grid and i want to show let's say 21 and let's make it four column and let's make it 20 four columns and 20 products now here you can see all the products all right now let's search for taxonomy and i'm going to drag it and drop it just above the loop grid here you can select loop grid and select a taxonomy now what type of taxonomy that you want to select you will see the options here product type product visibility product categories product tags and shipping classes so you can filter using these type of taxonomies so i'm going to select product categories and you will see all the categories of all these products okay now you can customize it you can change the alignment to the start to the center to the end or stretch so i'm going to keep it on center for the settings you will see empty items height so you are going to hide the empty items if there is no product in particular category you can hide that category if you want to show the child item for that particular taxonomy you can show that otherwise you can hide it and this is the first item all if you want to hide all you can hide the all i would prefer to use the all option if you want to make it vertical you can also make it vertical so you can create a sidebar and in the sidebar you can use the taxonomy filter so i'm going to use it horizontal now let's go to style settings and under style settings you will see option to customize the items such as you can change the font size you can also change the color take shadow background type if i change the background type you will see just like this so that doesn't look good so i'm going to remove it if you want to add border you can add border and this is the border radius so these are these style settings for the item and these are the advanced settings so i think you don't need to make any changes to the advanced settings so i'm going to update this page and let's see how does this look all right so right now it is set to all if i change it to new the products will be filtered according to their category new if i go to techie you will see the products under this category and this is the other category let's go to all and you will see all the products there so this is a new feature added to the Elementor Pro plugin. You need to have Elementor 3.15 and above plugin. So this is how you can use the Elementor taxonomy filter widget. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.